Hi there, I'm Al, and this is Summit Racing 101, where we teach you the basics of automotive tech. In today's Summit Racing 101, I'm going to go ahead and cover the difference between shocks and struts. If you look on our website, we list them both under the same category. They do do the same thing, but they are different pieces of equipment. This here is a shock, and this is a strut. And the difference really comes into how they are actually mounted to the front suspension of your vehicle. Now, if you look on this side, you can see this is a shock type mount setup. We have an upper and lower control arm, and the shock is mounted to the upper control arm. Now this is a coil spring type setup. It doesn't necessarily have to be a co coil spring setup to be a shock. But if you look over here, we have a strut assembly. Now if you see, we have a lower control arm. And on your steering, we have the strut assembly attached. The strut takes the place of that upper control arm and moves along with your vehicle. And you can look here that we have much more stout mounting points because it is taking the place of that upper control arm. Now there's two different ways that you can get your struts. You can get a complete assembly like this that includes the, the top cap, the spring, and the strut itself. Or if you don't feel like replacing your spring, you feel the spring is still good, you can get just the strut assembly. However, if you go this route, I do want to encourage you to make sure you have a strut spring compressor on hand because once you start unbolting this top cap, that spring's just going to fly out and it could injure you. You don't want to use the vehicle as a way to compress the spring to reassemble everything because you, again, may get hurt, you may damage the spring, the strut, or the vehicle. Now, Another question you may, you may have is, do I have to use a strut? Can I use a shock in place of a strut? No, you have to use a strut because as you can see here, these mounting points just aren't stout enough to handle the forces that are going to be acted upon it. You got to have something a little stronger. That's why they have the strut assembly, and that's why struts tend to be a little more expensive. So you cannot replace a shock with a strut. Now, if you have any other questions about uh, valving for shocks and struts, if you have questions about how to measure for the right length, we do have other videos, and I encourage you to check those videos out. Now to find the right shocks or struts for your vehicle, Check out the link that we put in the description below. And also, we put a link for these spring compressors in the description below. Now, if you have any other questions about shocks, struts, or any automotive questions, I'd love to hear them. Please feel free to leave a question in the comments section below. Hit subscribe to stay up to date on our latest Quick Flicks videos. And watch our other videos. Thanks for watching.